Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. I have a buddy here who has a minor bee problem. Good grief. He did a cutout and he doesn't have time to fool with the bees so I'm going to take him off his hands. I see him. I see a bunch of brood over here that you just stacked up. What you doing with it? That's the stuff to put in this hive here, this box here. Yeah. That's where all them, that stuff came from, is this box here. How come you didn't frame it up? I'm too tired. <laughs> Do you have any empty frames? I'll frame it up right now. No. How long has it been out? Well, I got some frames. Yeah, you know, it's been out for a couple of hours. Oh, man. It ain't gonna do hurt it. Yeah, it'll, yeah. it's kind of cool today. It'll be alright. It's an awful lot of brood. Hmm? Let me frame it up real quick. You got some rubber bands? Yeah, I, I don't have very many. All the rest of them look happy. Oh, yeah. They did, be. did you ever find that one that swarmed the other day? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I didn't go look for it. I found another swarm. Never did find them, huh? Well, that one's just slam full, ain't it? <laughs> you pick it up and see how much it weighs. It yeah. Was this one hive or two hives? That's one hive. Okay. This is one hive. Pick up and see how heavy that box is. <laughs> Hoping That's the cool. handle didn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of bees there. I'm telling you. Now, you gotta watch this because when you take this out, it'll they, it'll slide and it'll let them out down there. Will that fit inside of a full box? No. Dumps them in a full box. But won't yeah, I was gonna. Box. I was gonna say that. What up. you do is you, you take that pin out and you turn them up and hold on to that. And you just raise it up and just let them fall out, you know? Yeah. Did you hear the queen piping? <clears throat> the queen doing what? Piping. Piping. <laughs> I'm messing with George because he's hard to hear. I didn't hear her sing. Hear sing. <laughs> All these came out of one chest of drawers or a dresser? It's a chest of drawers. It's just a small chest. It's for a kid's room. And, uh, it had four drawers on one end of it, and I don't know what the other end is, probably an entertainment center or something. And uh, the three drawers was full of this. Wow. Three of them was just full. And uh, I couldn't, I like to never, I pulled that first one out, the top one, that didn't have another drawer on it, and the bottom of the drawer tore off. I mean, it completely tore loose. You should have just brought the whole dresser home. <laughs> I think the man might have got a little upset. He wanted it for his kid, you know. <laughs> Let's frame them up. Yep. Not, frame them up. Not, not real hopeful they're going to make it, but there's a lot of... Well, you never know. A lot of stuff that might. Wherever the queen is, she's a good layer. Oh, man. <laughs> if she's in that first box, that, you, that box I told you. Yeah. You got yourself a queen. All those frames are solid brood, and I hate it. I'm not real, real hopeful for it. It feels awful cool, and it's probably 70 degrees now, and it's late afternoon, so it's just getting cooler. It's probably going to be another at least half hour before I can get any bees on it, but it is what it is. He was in a hurry leaving town and got tired and just didn't have time to finish up. Ain't nothing like racing daylight when you're full of bees. I'm headed out to Chuck's. I got to help him with his for a little bit. So I just stopped and picked up some boxes and frames to rehome these. I, when I went to uh, George's house, I thought he had them already in boxes and frames. Uh, but they were in his back box, as I can see now. On this brood, like I said, I'm not not real hopeful. It's been exposed to 
the elements for hours now. I say to the elements, to temperatures. So I don't really think there's much hope for it, but we'll stick it in a box and dump some bees on it and see what happens. Seeing as I don't know how these girls are going to act, I suit it up. We're going to dump them out here and I'll see if I can get some video of this. Chuck's gone looking for some sugar water so we can hose them down before we dump them. And I put, uh, I'm going to split them up. Put two frames of brood in one box and two in another and we're going to right. fill up two boxes with bees. Uh, it's my first time fooling with George's vac box, so I had to figure it out, but uh, basically it looks like this screw here comes out. And then the top will slide under that angle iron. Yeah. So all the bees are clustered on this end. I'm going to spray them with some sugar water. Kind of get them to eating and sticking to each other and helps to keep them from flying as much. Hey, you need some help? Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah, come around here and mm -hmm. just kind of make sure. Now what are we doing? Sugar water in here or what? I'm fishing to slide the box open and dump them. Okay. Do I want to spray in here though? Any? You can. Okay. Hanging on to the lid. It's all right. I'm fixing to bump them. Oh, that's a mess. You still got a mess in there. I know it. Still a bunch of them sticking to the lid. There's a bunch of them in the box, though. Yeah, I know. I know. I just hope they're going to survive. Well, I think they will. What's your next thought? You need a bee brush? See if I can. Oh, where the queen's at. There we go. Now bumpy. Then again, too. As many bees you got, half that right there would be a good hive at the queen. Yeah. No, they don't look. They look lethargic. Yeah, hopefully they'll recover. Yeah. We'll know in the morning. Yeah, hey, man. Uh, you want me to get some sugar water and put a feeder on it? your dad if you want to leave me. Yeah, I might as well. I'll leave Mary overnight if you're going to stick a feeder on Yeah, I'll put a feeder on Alright, uh, here's something if you want to... Make sure I don't see a queen in here. That should slide all the way off. Yeah, it's, it's stopping. I think these handles have got it. Oh, uh, you're right. You're probably right. This is one drawback of doing a removal with a vac. Uh, they, they get kind of beat around in the vac, in the tube and in the vacuum cleaner and then they wind up having to stay in the cage and away from the brood, away from anything to eat and their temperature goes down and they just don't, it, it doesn't do well for them sometimes. If you're going to do a cutout and use a vac, you got to kind of be quick with getting them boxed back up if you can. Well, that was the first dump, and they're being pretty gentle. I'm, uh, I'm going to lighten my load and take my suit off, just put some sunglasses on, because these are acting the same way. Okay, now what's your thought again on this? Uh, let me come on this side. Okay. I'm going to move this apart. 
Yeah, huh? that box is that box is warped a little bit, so I gotta right. jam them. We've got them over here. Let's huh? put the brood side by side. Okay. okay. I'm gonna put a little, little water in it. I didn't put it on the brood either. You ready? Yeah. Mm. Lid sticking. <laughs> They're hanging on to the lid. So I just sprayed a little bit. That one's got attitude. You're probably going to get stung on this one. You okay? Yeah, you want me to tip it forward? Let me tip it forward. Just shake it. There you go. Like I can say, these are more active. Yeah, they're already building a comb in here. I think I took my suit off too soon. Huh? I took my suit off too soon. <laughs> it works the smoke, that's what we need. Man, we should have dumped half of these in that one. You know? Matter of fact, that might be what you do, you know? If you know the queen is not in there. The puffer went out. Shut that up and try bumping him into the next one. Oh my god. You ain't never seen. Wanna put a lid on it? Yep. Oh god. We got one hole in this stupid thing. And they found it. Him up, my brother. Can't even put a frame in there with them. Enough. Now this this box here looks healthy so far. by your bees. <laughs> you clean. Hey man, this is what a girl looks like in a suit. We're talking sissy here. That's a big ugly girl. <laughs> I'm telling you what man, I'm telling you. Yeah, they're on the feeders. They were hungry for sure. Yep. A lot yeah. of dead in the entrance of that one. Pardon? There's a lot of dead in the entrance of that That's one. It's okay. They clean them out. Yep. Now here's the thing now. If both of them come out of one hive, one of these has the queen in it. Yeah. The other don't. Yeah, we're so, going to have to requeen one of them. But, but, see what don't make sense to me is what to keep the one where the queen's at. They're going to leave and go to her, aren't they? Not necessarily because they've been queenless for hours today okay. so whichever box doesn't have her right a couple hours ago they decided they didn't have a queen because they've been separated all this time okay i don't know when he did this cut out but he called yeah. me three three and a half hours ago right and uh he it was an hour from his house and he's not a real fast mover so there's no telling how long it took him to do it 
So we he made this be vac? Yeah, I, I guess. I, I've never even seen his vac and I mm -hmm. really don't even know how it works. It's the first time I've seen his boxes. Kind of like the concept though. Yeah. You know, it's neat. Angle iron and Worked pretty good. The box did anyway. Yeah. I'll have to check his vac out one day. See if I can yeah. steal his idea and patent it. <laughs> He's still got attitude. We're finishing out the day at Chuck's house. Thank you for the help, Chuck. Yeah, I got stung messing with your beef. <laughs> and, uh, that's got to be in the Bible somewhere. Though I give my body to be stung and have not love, it profits me nothing. <laughs> be Bible. <laughs> though, though I whine about everything. <laughs> Give me my wine back. I was whining about getting these stupid bees in cages instead of boxes. <laughs> that was interesting now. I'm going to tell you what. I'm running so short on big. time, I didn't think I was going to be able to get out here and do anything. Big old swarm. And then my truck's acting up. I got to go home and work on it again. That right there is about as pretty and perfect a queen cell as you're ever going to see. <laughs> Yeah, but the problem is it's a replacement cell. That's what yeah, I'm thinking. There's, there's replacement cells out through the box and there's swarm cells on a couple of frames. So you know. We are digging for the queen. Regardless, we're going to split them up because there's so much larva in this box. It's just full, but we can't find the queen so far. We're going to call it quits on this one. We couldn't find the queen. We know she's in there and she's young. That's probably why we couldn't find her. There's no cap brood, but the whole daggum box is full of larvae and eggs. So she's been laying the fool out of it. And with all the cells, we went ahead and made a split this one in, uh, into another nuke. And we just keep an eye on them, see how they do, and see if we can figure out which box we left the queen in. <laughs>